Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple React to do app. And in this app, we're going to suggest icons based on the task name that the user is inputting. We've already seen the app in the previous example, I guess. In uh, the name of the app is the cute list. And in this app is currently hosted in, and you can try the URL cute-list.netlify.com. And in here, when you type in some to do, for example, read math textbook, you can see that automatically the model that we're using that we're going to train in later videos is suggesting icons for this to do. So if I choose the suggestion, you can see that this one is applied in here. The other type of icon that we have is running. Uh, or run. So for that, let me check to let's say yoga workout. And as you can see, the suggestion is again, correct. So I'm going to show you how to start a new react GS project from scratch. We're going to install the dependencies, then I'm going to uh, fast forward, copy, copy and paste all the code that is uh, needed for this project. And later I'm going to show you how uh, how the project was built. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the code itself. And again, in later videos, I'm going to show you how to build the model that is making the suggestions for this icon. Okay, okay so let's start with creating a new React.js application. And for this, I'm going to use the create React app package that is available on GitHub and it's created by Facebook. So in here, I'm going to copy and paste the command yarn create a react app, since I'm going to be using yarn. Okay, and we're going to name this cute list. Okay, so while this one is installing, I'm going to uh, load the project in VS code. And I'm going to paste in the my prettier config file. And this config file is pretty much taken from the React Native standard prettier RC file. So now that the React.js project is created, I'm going to enter the directory. And in here, I'm going to type in yarn start and this should start the development server and as you can see we have a brand new react.js application running for our application we're going to use a set of components called react rainbow components and as you can see the app is pretty cute i, I think and those components have uh, their own website, of course. And on that website, you can have a look at uh, a gallery of different components that are provided by this library. So let's start by installing a couple of dependencies that we're going to need for our React.js application. And let's start by using yarn for that. So I'm going to add uh, TensorFlow.js, TFGS models, TFGS-Vis, then TensorFlow models universal sentence encoder, and I'm going to need Wodash UIDGS for creating unique IDs for our to-dos. Uh, what else? Let's see. Okay, let's start with that. And as you can see, that might take a bit of time. Other dependencies that we are going to need actually include the icons that are shown in the list app. So the book and the running app and this menu or something like that. So for that, I'm going to use Fort awesome I guess mm, 
which allows you to build and manage icons in React and other libraries, I guess. So let's start by adding React font awesome and a set of icons from font awesome and then some free icons this should pretty much it be all of it yep okay so now that, we, now that we have all the dependencies i'm going to copy and paste the code that is available on github and we're going to have a look at it together another dependency that i had to add is the react rainbow components themselves so you can do that with yarn add react rainbow components i've already done that and then you have to start the project again and as you can see in a minute i've already copied and pasted the whole source code from github so the app should be running smoothly after it is done with the compilation step all right and here you should have the app running on your local machine and as you can see the app uh, looks pretty much identical to the one that is available on netlify this one is just a bit bigger so that's fine and in here if i type uh, the same thing like yoga workout you can see that the suggestion is still loading so we are still not giving any suggestions and if i try to save the task you can see that we have to choose an icon manually so i'm going to do that and save that and as you can see we are having our to do in here you can complete or uncomplete your to do and you can delete it so this should be all of it should be working so let's try with um, read math textbook okay go for a run yep this should be working just fine okay so how is this all connected how this this works so basically we have an index file in which we have a si single component called app and in here we are just loading the sentence encoder for now and once this sentence encoder is loaded we are using the set uh, method from the state from for the encoder and we are setting the sentence encoder in here now that we are using use effect and we are using async function in use effect so every time this component is mounted we are going to call the what model uh, function in here so let's have a look at the actual dom or gsx you can see that we have a card with a title uh, the cute list and in here we have found awesome icon which is the tasks icon this one right here and we have some background in here uh, which is uh, i guess it's the green from here we are using the rainbow css styling for that then if the encoder is not already loaded we are displaying the preparing suggestions water so if i refresh that you can see the water and then after the water is uh, after the loading of the model is done you can see the gui and once the encoder is loaded we are presenting the new task component 
and then for each task that we've already added we are representing uh, this as a list of task components so uh, there are a couple of methods in here that are handle save task complete task undo complete task or remove task and as you can see our tasks are represented as an object and when we are adding a new task we are generating a unique id for it we are taking its name its icon we are saying that it's not uh, already complete and we are adding to the previous tasks the new task with its id in the object so when we are completing a task we are just passing the, that task id we are taking the task marking it as complete and then again replacing this object in our tasks the same thing is true for the uh, when we are undoing a task and when we are removing a task we are using the omit function from the low dash package which uh, basically removes uh, removes every uh, object that it, it has key which is the task id so in this case we have a single task id so we are going to remove just the task that we are passing in so that's pretty much the CRUD operations for our tasks the next interesting thing in this app i guess is the new task component and in here you can see that we are expecting a model and an encoder and we have a set suggested icon is suggested icon and suggested icon from the state but for now we are not actually using those every time that uh, the input is changed let me show the gsx we have an input which is the name which is this component right here every time something is typed in we're calling the handle name change and once we are here we can take the current string that is inputted and in here we are going to for now at least replace the name of the task and we are doing some error checking so every time somebody types in something we are going to uh, remove all the errors at least for now we have something for accepting the suggestion which is actually currently inactive but because we are not giving any suggestions and we have this menu in here that allows you to choose between the two icons and we have the suggestion ui which is currently not working because once again our model is not suggesting anything for now we have the error message that you can see if you try to save a task without an icon all right and we have the button itself which calls the handle task uh, handle save task which actually tries to check for errors in if the name is uh, shorter than two characters we are setting an error for the name then we're setting an error for the icon if the icon is new and then we're calling our callback and just resetting the state for our component so if i come here and choose an icon but i'm not inputting any name we are going to have this error and if i input something in here and save the task you can see that this state is cleared and the task is added in here so that's pretty much what uh, this simple to do app is going to do for us and in the next video i'm going to show you how to create the model that is suggesting the icons and we're going to use this model to and we're going to train it and then we're going to use it to suggest icons in the ui and i'm going to show you how to integrate all of it in the to do app and how we're going to handle the somewhat edge case that is uh, when the user is inputting something in the uh, text you actually might not want to 
predict uh, the icon or to suggest the icon every time that a new character is uh, entered. So we're going to have a look at how to actually throttle our predictions. So that's pretty much it. Please rate, uh, please vote, subscribe. And I'm going to input the, to put the source code in the description below. So thanks for watching. Bye guys.